Hello everyone, today I have for you the perfect way to make a tech dedicated storage floor. Uh, all the videos on YouTube don't use official settings and they use a lot of collision that wouldn't work on official, so this is the official way to make it. I made this video yesterday, but someone made me aware in the first hour of it being posted that there's a better method, so I t put that video down, uh, took it in the backyard, shot it, and then I checked out that method, refined it down to make it even better, and this is what I have for you today. And if you just want a cheaper method, at the end of the video, I have this if you care less about looks. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to put the deadies in this empty 5x5 five five area. This is not where I'm going to be walking, this is where I'm going to be putting these structures to lift up the deadies. I'll be walking on the deadies up on this floor. I'm just showing you here that you cannot have any walls or ceilings around this area. You just have to leave it completely free, except for this row of ceilings back here. Because uh, we need to walk on them to place some stuff. And then this ceiling right here will help us line up our first deadie placement. So I'm going to fill this in with foundations and show you the rest. So just to show you the main idea of this deadie floor, we're going to be putting two of these ramps down. Uh, not the roofs that go all the way up, just these ramps that go halfway up uh, a wall height. And then we're going to be putting tables on them, and this will lift up the deadies very nicely and make it just like a perfect smooth surface. To build this on a larger scale, we'll set down one row of ramps right here and then put the tables on top. And then we'll do the next row of ramps and put the tables on top. And this is because if we put the all the ramps down and try and put the tables down, they'll, the next ramps will obstruct the first tables that we want to put down. So you can use either metal or wood and just go ahead and put them down to wherever you want to put deadies. Then go ahead and line up on a ladder so you're nice and straight. You don't have to be centered, you just have to be straight right here. And what you're going to do on metal ramps is line up the right leg on the bottom of like that tab right there. It's not super precise, so then go ahead and center it. And if you're using wood ramps, look at the left leg and put it at the bottom of like that cement line there. Say so honestly, I'd even go a little bit lower right there. It's not going to be a big deal as you'll see. And then go ahead and just place tables centered on the ramps all the way down. And then for this next line, there is no snap point right here. So we have to create one by making a wall right here, a ceiling, and then placing the ramp on the bottom of that ceiling right there. And then we can actually get rid of the ceiling and the wall or the ramp is snapped to this quarter wall here. If this gets destroyed, the ramp gets destroyed like that. So if you don't want to put this on the outside here, because if someone broke into the wall here and destroyed this, it would destroy the entire line of ramps that we're going to snap to this. You can actually, before you put down a whole line of ramps, uh, like on the normal snap point on a ceiling, you can put down a wall in the middle beforehand and you'll be fine like this. And if you're really worried about something happening, you can put down more walls further down and it will create more snap points that would have to be destroyed to destroy the entire row. So I'm going to leave those there and then set down these ramps and put the tables on top. So this first row of deadies is basically done. I just have to put down the deadies right here. But I'm going to finish this up, and then I'll show you how to place the deadies. Okay, I got these all finished up, and <laughs> they look so sick. I love this method, actually. Uh, I forget if I said, but one thing, it doesn't really matter where you place the table. You can't raise or lower the deadies because they go on, like, a slope here. So if you raise the table higher or lower, it's just based on where this deadie ends up uh, colliding with the ceiling. It's always going to end up in the same place, just how the height of the table and the slope of the ramp works. It's weird, but it's just always going to be at the same height. So placing this deadie, you line up on that ladder. And then you come over as far as you can to the right here. And you're just going to want to get this as perfect as possible. I have a macro on my keyboard to nudge me like this. So I just got to press that and it nudges me. If you're on Xbox, I did notice, I was even using a keyboard, that if you just tap the key, you go way further than PC. And it's probably because of frame rate or something. So this is really hard to get this exact on 
Xbox, which I assume any console like PS5. So maybe if someone that's on PC, like a decent PC, plays this first one, just to make it that much more perfect, but it's not that big of a deal. So make sure you didn't have snapping on when you were trying to place this, and go ahead and put it down. And now you enable snapping, and just snap every daddy box to each other. Okay, we have all our deadies down, so I'm going to go ahead and put down all the ceilings. If you had these ceilings on before, it would obstruct the boxes that you're trying to place next to them. And here's our beautiful deadie floor. There is no method better than this. It gets it so close to being just absolutely perfectly flush. It is like a pixel down, which honestly, for the, how the collision works, you this might be perfect. Because I feel, it feels like butter walking over it. I feel no bump like going over this. It's so nice. So as you can see here, we can't put a wall next to these deadies. It's obstructing it. I think even without the ramps, it'd be obstructing it. So that's why we need this buffer space right here to put down walls. One more thing, depending on the direction that you place these deadies, it should line up the image that way. So since I placed them down there looking like this way, this is how the image will appear. But you can change that by going to visual options, the item display options, and then you can turn it right here. So if you want to not move 100 deadie boxes, be aware of that. Uh, I don't think, don't press rotate on this when you're placing them because I think that would change it. Like I just turned it 180 right there. And yeah, so be aware of that. So that's how you make a perfect deadie floor. There is another way that people have been using that I'll show you that's just worse. I even put it in my original video, but after finding this, uh, or being shown this, I'm never doing it again. It's terrible compared to this. Uh, the method is using elevator tracks, and I just gotta place these down real quick to show you the difference between these two methods. Yeah, so I got the elevator tracks down, and you can see these daddy boxes right here are just slightly lower than these, which honestly, I don't even think you can feel it. Oh, you can, f the slightest bump, it's so slight, but that's this is just that much a little bit better, but it, it is, infinitely cheaper these elevator tracks are expensive especially if you use wood ramps here it costs zero metal to make this whole thing which is crazy also if you're worried about structure counts uh to do one foundation of deadie boxes it's four elevator tracks and this is two ramps and two tables which is basically four but the only difference is is that you have these uh quarter walls uh, filling up a little bit more structure count. It's just based on how many you want to put down though. So at most it would be five extra structures for This is a five by five. So it's 25. This is a hundred daddy boxes right here So it's five extra structures for a hundred daddy boxes. I'd say that's pretty much worth it So the only other method that has any other merit if you want if you don't care about looks and you just want the lowest structure count and the cheapest way possible to make this you can go ahead and put down uh, quarter high ceilings right here. Obviously make them out of wood if you want them really cheap. And then just put tables on every half of a ceiling right here. And again, this is even this is easier to make. You don't even have to line up. You just got to get it like kind of in the center. Turn around here. And then go ahead and put down the last ones. You place the deadie boxes using the same method as over there, just lining yourself up and putting them on the ceilings. And then when you walk over them, they have a slight bump. They don't look terrible. Uh, they actually like lift you up. So if you have stuff like floating, like forges or replicator, it actually gets you a little bit closer to them. So it might be better in that regard, but this is a very cheap way and a very structure count efficient way of doing this. And this is what I have in my grind station. If I could redo it, I would do this method because it's so nice. But this is just the only other way that I see ha that has merit uh, to do a deadie floor. Okay, that's the end of this video. It started raining, so I gotta go. Uh, subscribe if you want to see stuff similar to this. I already have cryo fridge floors on my channel and like ways to make perfect vaults every single time. So go ahead and check those out. I'll have more stuff coming. Like the video if this helped you out, and comment if you have any questions or anything you want to say. See ya.